hi guys welcome back to my channel now today i'm here to talk about my experience going to jamaica without a green card like girl are you serious are you crazy they're not gonna let you back in don't go girl but I pushed fear aside, I booked my ticket, I packed my suitcase, off to Jamaica, I'll go. <laughs> Alright guys, but seriously, um, how you all doing? I'm feeling fabulous. <laughs> anyway, so a number of persons reached out to me. Um, saying that they would like to hear my experience going to Jamaica on my combo card because for if you have been following me then you would have known that um, I recently got my green card Yay! Um, but before I got my green card I did um, travel to Jamaica on my combo card that is my employment authorization and also my advanced parole my advanced parole was what um gave me the opportunity to travel to jamaica and was able to come back in the us of a now before i go um to jamaica i had concerns because i had people you know who had their little say about the actual combo card but what i did was to go to good sources that you know have factual information and take it from them no um my lawyer he said listen it's a reason why they gave it to you if you're able to work you're able to go back home and come back you haven't um commit any form of crime you don't have a record um you're good to go you are a well law abiding citizen pack your suitcase and go on home he literally told me that so when i was going down no one said anything about um to me regarding showing them green card or showing them combo card i went through smoothly yes they scanned me and you know checked my bags and stuff like that you know i checked in showing my passport i went when i was coming back however waiting them do now wait you want to tell me <laughs> anyways um when i was coming up back i went through jamaica and um airport smoothly they um they did ask me for my um travel documents i did give them my passport and they asked me if i had anything else and I, that's when I show them the combo card and, you know, they let me on the plane. However, people, you see how me at a car master? Bear in mind, you know, even though I was mentally prepared and ready for what was going to happen. But the human in me, have me a worry. <laughs> but, um... Plain land back in New York. I'm a got through customer, so um it was a long line. Before I, I, I went into the line, there was this custom officer that was saying those who are who has a visiting um visa go in this line and those who have a green card um are their perf um their residency <clears throat> go in that line. Remember, my father right in the middle. Him not say, wait, who in the middle for go? Because <laughs> I neither have a red, um, green card, which is my permanent residency. And uh, me visiting visa. You know what? <laughs> so, me say, you know what? My resident, my love. My dad says a resident already. Right, this so me I go. And I did go into the line. When I reached up to the... um. The custom officer's desk he um she asked me to show um my passport and my residency card 
I gave my daughter's own and I gave mine. Morella said, Oh man, check for Ariana and gave it back to me. But Morella said, She take mine and she put it in our envelope. Say, <laughs> Yes, Jesus, let the trial begin. <laughs> Anyways, um, when she put the, um, my passport and my combo card in an envelope, she said to me, do you have anything to declare? So the only thing I have missed is that like a thirsty because me brave, you know, just pick the thirsty off of the tree. You know, them say when they are travel, you know, for travel with no green bush or whatever. My thirsty well green. The lady said, what is that? So I said, um, I something, you know, you drink for cleanse your body. <laughs> she said, okay, come with me. And she walked me going to our little room and she said have a seat and she walked up to the desk and she gave another custom officer my little envelope at this point you know ariana in my side mommy why we can't go away mommy why them take your something ariana in my side just i said ariana just calm relax everything is gonna be okay they're just checking to see if my document is okay. So mommy, why them not check my <laughs> I must say you good man. I must say I have a green card already. So I'm not thinking you get your green card, mommy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, just relax. I'm a little girl. Relax, man. I will sit down here and not even two minutes. Not even two minutes after we sit. Um the gentleman called, said Miss Gardner, and I walked up to him. And he said, um, you're adjusting your status. So I said, yes, I am. And he said to me, um, what's your address? Could you verify your address for me? You know, and I told him my address. Then he said, okay. He made a stamp in the book. I'm see my right. I don't know why I'm writing. But after he gave, then he gave me back my passport with my combo card and he gave me this pink um, slip, just li this little pink card. And he said, have a wonderful day now, stay warm because it was in the winter that I went down. Um, then he said to me, when you're um, going, before you exit the door, that is a little room, there's a door. So he said, and there's also another officer sitting there. He said, please to give him this slip. I give him the little pink something. And here I am today, back in the U.S. of A. <laughs> so it was smooth. Oh, and when I checked my passport, this the stamp that he gave me would have expired in December of this year, 2021. So... I'm figuring more or less that even if I didn't get my green card and I traveled again, they would have seen that, um, you know, a custom officer already verified that the card is in fact real and gave me the clearance to, you know, come back in. So it was, it was pretty smooth. I'm not telling no lies. I'm never went afraid, but I wasn't like fully like nervous and, you know, belly, like me got a running belly and something. No, because my lawyer already prepped me and told me what to um expect yes he told me they would have brought me into the room but what had caught my attention was when the lady took my passport and the combo card and put it in that envelope and me like eh. my lawyer never tell me that part here <laughs> but anyways you know i still kept my compliment <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so for those who, you know, their um, case is still pending and um, they're worried whether or not they can travel, go. If you know you don't have a criminal record on you, if you know you never receive a letter of deportation or a letter of removal out of the country or anything like that to say you really have something to be concerned about, contact your lawyer or contact somebody 
I am not a liar. I'm just telling you based on my experiences. So don't hold me accountable. Go to um, sources that are credible, that know the law and know what is right. You understand? So wishing you guys all the best. Sometimes we can't just listen to a neighbor. We can't just listen to a friend. Well, I forgot to credible source. <laughs> and yeah but this time honey when i'm traveling honey i'm gonna be traveling on my green car honey <laughs> people don't have to sit with me and don't go with them but yeah just wishing you guys all the best on this journey i know it can be very tedious stressing but hold on well, on a little bit longer. You see the light? Is it right there? So, look good. You see the light? Right there, right there. So clear out, my love. So clear out. So, big up on the step. And I just want to say thank you, guys. Thanks to everybody that have subscribed. I think I'm at 530 subscribers. So, we're on our way to 1,000. <laughs> So keep sharing, keep liking, tell a friend to tell a friend, come on over. You know, I'm gradually growing. You know, I have to say this shout out to Active Tropsy. She has been, you know, giving me a lot of feedback that is very helpful. And I appreciate her so much for, you know, because it takes, not everybody is going to see persons messing up in certain areas and know how to, you know, help them to clear it out and, you know, give them that information. So active troopsy thank you so much again for reaching out and you know helping me i really 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 appreciate it so big up with a nice clean self if if you guys are not yet following me on instagram go ahead and follow me it is mickeyfab underscore msg and on facebook it is mickeyfab born to wiki and shout out to marsha i don't know if she remembers but i purchased this um choker you remember when choker when i wear our stuff but me just feel like a dab up my face tonight and put on um, my little jing below there and come talk to uno <laughs> all right people bless up on yourself stay sweet stay strong bye now